Hey everyone, Mr. MC here. This is Lopcat for Laguna Seca with the Porsche 911 RSR. Let's get this started. Bring yourself to the left and then go over to the right and use this section where the dirt turns into the tarmac as your breaking point. You can try to hit this first apex, but the apex you really want to hit is the second one right here. You can use the sausage curves on most of the turns as your apex and your accelerating point. So you'll go for a late apex there and start to accelerate. Then look for the two board on the left and you'll break hard for a moment and trail break your way onto the apex, which once again is a sausage curve and carefully start to accelerate. Before you reach the one board on the left, you will trail break and you'll use a tiny bit of braking. Let the car cruise for a moment and gently apply the throttle. Look for the three board on the right as that will be your next braking point. This turn is a little bit long and drawn out, so you'll be trail braking for a bit longer. So just use some braking until you hit the apex and slowly start to accelerate. Now this turn is a little tricky. You'll use a two board on the right as your braking marker. Brake hard for a very quick moment. Trail brake onto the apex and immediately hit the throttle once you hit the apex. Now for the corkscrew, you want to break pretty early for this one. So break well before you reach the three board on the right. Break as much as you can and slowly get the car to rotate right when you're about to approach the first apex. As you start to go downhill, very carefully start to apply the throttle. You don't want to get the rear wheel to spin at all. Then use some throttle control for this turn. Do not hit the sausage curb. Bring yourself to the left and use a two board on the left as your braking point. You'll be trail braking through this turn as well, but when you hit the apex, be very aggressive on the throttle. For the final turn, brake right before you reach the three marker on the right, and you want to go for a somewhat of a late apex here, and try not to get too aggressive on the throttle as you'll end up getting the wheel spinning a little bit, and go for the finish line, and you are good to go. Let's go ahead and quickly talk about the strategies. All right, before I actually talk about the strategies, when you're doing your first couple of laps, your tires are going to be pretty cold, so you're not going to have all the grip to make the car do whatever you want it to do. So you might want to think about braking just a tiny bit earlier and being a bit more careful on the throttle. You'll see kind of why I say that because here I brake at my usual braking point later in the race, but because of that, the tires are not warmed up yet and I didn't have all the grip and I almost took someone out because of my poor choice. But luckily I didn't take him out, so all is good, I think. Now onto the strategies or strategy, because really there's only one strategy that you have to think about and that is to start and finish with the tires that you, well, started in. Uh, you don't have to worry about the fuel because you have more than enough fuel to finish the race. And with the tires, you just want to try to take care of them throughout the entire race. Don't scrub your tires, don't slide around, don't get them dirty, especially that because it's really easy to get your tires dirty on this track. And as I said earlier, in the first couple of laps, you just want to be a bit more careful with your driving style as your tires don't have all the grip yet because they're not warmed up. And yeah, uh, I mean, there isn't really much else to talk about. If you want the direct image link to the strategy, I'll have it in the description down below. But other than that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. But actually, before I do, uh, since Christmas happens to be tomorrow when I'm uploading this video, I just want to take a bit of time and say Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and I hope you all have an awesome week. So this is Mr. MCA. Wishing you all a happy holidays and I'll see you in the next video.